Greetings, ladies and gentlemen! Do you remember me? I wouldn't be surprised. Anyways, in this edition of Godzilla Daikaiju Battle Royale, we will be facing as the Big G himself, Gizora. I did not expect that to happen, largely because Gizora is such a rather, uh, what is the word? Relatively obscure monster. Even more obscure than Varad, who we are facing right now. But the great thing about Gizora is that he has a number of useful attacks that are weak as all get out. <laughs> Knock it off. Oh, wow. Okay, so those lunging tentacle attacks really do some damage, although he can't do them if he's out of energy. Interesting. At any rate, Gizora is a giant mutated cuttlefish of all things for the 1970 flick Space Amoeba. He was created by a colony of astro quasars known as Yogg in a bid to take over the world, what else? Never mind the fact that a quasar shouldn't be able to mutate much of anything, much less try and take over the world. A quasar is, I believe it's a collapsed star, isn't it? Oh, and Gizora has some freezing powers as well. Every third blow he gives has a good sized chance of freezing his opponent solid. So that's very useful. So what is our next foe? Why it appears to be the dreaded... Oh great, Mothra Leo, how am I even supposed to touch her? Ow. Kazori is a really weak monster, even in the original storyline. Okay, so that's how. Just wait. Kazori is also slow. At least he has that neat freeze attack going for him, and that's pretty much all he has going for him. Bit of a one-trick pony, this one. And while he's on the ground, I'll just jump up and down on him. Boy, 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 boy. I've seen enough Pente to know where this is going, although an idiot could figure out where this is going. I can't figure out where this is going. Oh well, ow. I do so love that ramming attack. Alright, Antarctica. So Gazora's a pretty big target, he has a couple of decent tricks up his sleeve, but he's also very slow. A mixed bag overall. Ow. Ooh, he can float too if I push up the control stick. That is awesome. What the? Kazora can fly? No, no, he can't. Wishful thinking that. He has an ugly sounding roar too. Ow. Come on, you. Owie. Nope. Down here, you. Ouch. You know, in the original film, he had light up eyeballs. I would have liked like that in this game, but oh well. It's nice to see him anywhere, really, because after Space Amoeba came out, he never appeared anywhere else except for stock footage in Godzilla Final Wars. Even though he was probably the most well-known monster on the cover of Space Amoeba, on the poster art, sorry. Quick, our Earth base needs to be protected. It's under attack. Yes, I will go at the rate of about five miles per hour all the way to that base on Earth. Shit. Okay, I think I'm, I'm feeling outmatched here. Okay, that hurts him. Just keep charging him. Okay, so this is a very good attack. Just keep ramming him with this, and I might actually stand a chance. Not a good chance, but a chance. See? Already, I've actually got ahead of him in terms of how much hit points we have. That's the one good thing about Gazora, that down... Uh-oh. That one attack is actually fairly decent. Come on, you. Just a little more. Just a little daisy bit more. And down he goes! One last obstacle. He's finally appeared. Godzilla! I still like that song. I don't care what you say. Alright, Gazora versus Godzilla. The smash of the century. Ow. Get back here, you. Ouch. I'm lucky it's Godzilla 90s I'm facing. If it was a Godzilla with a decent long-range attack, it, I might actually really have a threat here, but as it is, not so much. I'll just keep slapping him silly. I have no idea what that low body temperature freezing ability is supposed to represent in real cuttlefish. fish. As far as I know, they don't have unusually high or low body temperatures. Oh shit. Nope, 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 nope. Gotta kill you quick. Gotta kill you quick. Don't you hit me with that supercharged attack. Nope, 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 nope. Whew. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh, he fell down and he comes back up. It's Zombiezilla. The victory for Planet X is thanks to Gazora. Alright, we'll be going through the bonus stage. And 
who will be be facing but the one, the only... Kong. I'm not sure what that means when... I'm not sure what a monster means when it's bonus stage monster is a specific other creature, but as far as I know, Gazora and Kong have absolutely no relation to one another, so why he's here is beyond me. Actually, in the original... Oh, he stayed frozen for a while there. In the original Space Amoeba, Gazora was actually only about 50 feet tall, and the rest of these monsters uh, range from 150 to 300 feet. So, as it is, I'm not sure what the scale here is supposed to be, but... Kind of glad they upped the ante on Gazora. Aha! That's it! Gazora and King Kong were both scaled up in order to face their respective monsters from their debut movies. I'm just gonna back away so that he doesn't electrocute. Oh, right, he's faster than me. Crap! Okay, keep zapping him. Don't even think about it. Nope. Slap him. Well, that was a hell of a happy slaps game. Anyways, feel free to like below, subscribe, do whatever you please, or do not. Whichever you like. Oh, that's right, they have this at the end nowadays, too. I meant to show this during the last video, but... Anyways, 1954 Gojira, 1955 Godzilla Raising Again, 1962 King Kong vs. Godzilla, 1964 Mothra vs. Godzilla, 1964 Ghidorah the Three-Headed Monster, 1965 Invasion of Astro Monster, 1966 Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster, 1967 Son of Godzilla, 1968 Destroy All Monsters, 1969 Godzilla's Revenge, 1971, Godzilla vs. the Smog Monster. Wait, I thought that was 1970. 1972, Godzilla vs. Gigan. 1973, Godzilla vs. Megalon. Go 1974, Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. 1975, Terror of Mechagodzilla. 1984, Return of Godzilla. 1989, Godzilla vs. Biollante. 1991, Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. 1992, Godzilla vs. Mothra, the Battle for Earth. 1993, Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2. 1994, Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla. 1995, Godzilla vs. Destroyer. 1999, Godzilla 2000. 2000, Godzilla vs. Megacurus. That doesn't sound right. 2001, Godzilla Mothra King Ghidorah Giant Monsters All Out Attack. That's a long name. 2002, Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. 2003, Godzilla Tokyo SOS. Shouldn't that be the name for every Godzilla movie? 2004, Godzilla Final Wars. 1954 to 2004. But now the king has returned. And this is what I thought was going to be the next monster in the roster, but I was wrong. And hell? Okay. Anyways, thank you for watching, and take care of yourselves. See you next time, whenever that is.